smoke in the trash can. These niggas been coppin' out this smoke, we done passed that. I'm tired of that hoe, wanna hear her friend because I ain't seen my bro. Told him crack, I don't know why he did. Wish I would ride that on that drill, I ain't seen my dog in a minute. Yo, it's Giddy Two, man. It's your boy, Face Walker, and I'm back with a brand new hey, in today's video. I got a story time for y'all. Um, I've been wanting to do a story time for a long time, but I only did one on stream and I couldn't upload it to YouTube for some reason. So I'm doing a story time right here. Yeah, just enjoy. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Today's story time is how I got caught smoking for the first time in my life. Oh! You know what I'm saying? I told the story on how I took an edible and you know what I'm saying? That shit didn't go right. I didn't tell y'all about the first time I actually blew down and actually lit a blunt. This shit almost risked me my f life, bro. When I tell you my mama, bro, I'm telling you, my mama gave me the worst beating of my life that night. I don't know what the fuck we did to that lady, bro. What it did to her soul. But when she walked in this bitch and she... It's more like weed in this bitch. I'm gonna break down... When I bought it, I'm going to break down how I lit it. I'm going to break down where I was at the time. And, yeah, bro, we just going to break all of that down. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Subscribe, most importantly, nigga. You know, you got to join the family if you're going to come over here and watch my videos. Don't watch the vid. I hate niggas that will watch the vid and not subscribe. Like, you already on the video. Go ahead and subscribe. This happened when I was in my freshman year. Uh, it's actually connected to a story that I told before. I haven't told it in this way. I ain't know how it was going to affect my personal life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got a lot of family members watching my videos, so I got to kind of cool it down when it comes to, like, the type of content I make. But at the time, I didn't want to tell the story because it was a bit inappropriate for my age, and I was doing YouTube at that time, and I wanted to tell that story, but I couldn't. But I'm 18 now, nigga. I'm a fucking adult, bitch. You ain't gonna tell me what the fuck I can't do. The f you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna lie, you too. Hey, I'm, if I have to put that two-minute thing in between this video or before this video, I'm sorry, y'all, bro. I'm just not trying to get fucked up. Y'all don't want the channel to get deleted, right? I'm getting on top. Listen, listen, listen. This was in my freshman year. I had a friend. His name gonna be Jay. I'm trying to be discreet as hell. Um, I'm trying to make sure y'all don't hear who I'm talking about. You know, if I mess up and say his name, hey, bro. I'm sorry, bro. So I bought weed from him. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even, listen, I didn't even think about what I was doing at the time because I was just like being on some young bullshit. Like, I just wanted to get that experience. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really wanted to make sure I understood how this shit feel. And I ain't gonna lie. Hey, I thought after the ass beating I got, bro, I was never gonna smoke, bro. I'm lying. That shit was like 200. I'm not gonna lie. Now that I understand the pricing of this shit, hey, y'all niggas was scamming me. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Y'all niggas wrong as fuck. I bought all that shit, you know, and I brought it home. Now, when I brought it home, I didn't immediately smoke that shit. And the reason I didn't was because it's like, I didn't know how to do it. And I didn't know what was like the appropriate time that I needed to do it. Like, I thought you needed to do it like at night and shit like that. So I waited for my mom and dad to leave. As soon as they left, I started sparking that shit up. And I'm listening to Chief Keith. I'm blowing down thinking I'm the shit. Bro, two hours passed. They get to the house. Now, listen, let me break down everything that was happening before they got to the house. You know what I'm saying? I'm smoking that shit. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not getting high at the time because I wasn't inhaling, bro. So I was just blowing out the smoke. I was really wasting weed. Like, if somebody was in the room with me at the time, I'm, I'm pretty sure they would have smacked shit out of me because, like, that shit was crazy. And mind y'all, I had bought two blunts, two pre-rolls. Now, I'm not going to lie. I didn't even realize the smell it was making. You know what I'm saying? I was in my room. Like, hold on. Let me tell y'all. The setup is where my couch was. My desk and shit like that was where my couch was at the time. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just, you know, I'm I'm thinking I'm the shit. I'm thinking I'm Chief Sosa. I didn't even get to the second bullet because I was like, bro, am I high, bro? I feel like the adrenaline of doing the actual sport was, like, making me think I was high. I stopped smoking for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was, like, 30 minutes. Not even. Probably, like, an hour. You know what I'm saying? They get home. Now, I didn't even notice they got home because I had my music playing. Like I said, bro, I had that shit full blast. She was like 98 volume. Yeah, man, I get here. I'm just really trying to figure out how the fuck they got home that early. Now, I'm realizing it. I'm realizing they got home because when they drove when they drove in, I can hear them from my room. I can hear the, the car like driving in the driveway. When I heard front door, because we got a, like an alarm, when I heard that shit, my fucking heart dropped. You know what I'm saying? 
because I'm like, bro, I didn't even have enough time to cover this shit up. I didn't have no time to air this shit out. Bro, I live in a garage, you know what I'm saying? Like, my room has no windows that I could even have the smoke come out. So this shit was just floating around in my room. What I didn't realize was that shit floated out into the fucking house. I'm not gonna lie, bro. This is where everything went wrong. When I left out, I said, hey, y'all. They said, why it smell like weed? This is what my dad said. When I hear what he said, I'm like, oh man. Now I'm scared of this nigga. This nigga be putting the fucking beats on me like fucking the baby. This nigga be trying to knock me out. I think that nigga actually be trying to kill me. But my mama was fucking on hot. Bro, I'm telling you, bro. My mama was on hot. She came in. She smelt it. And bro, like, it was like a fucking, like an alarm set on her shit or something like that. I don't know what the fuck happened, bro. But like, her damn eyes, bro. Her, her eyes was tinted. I'm not gonna lie, bro. This shit was the scariest shit I've ever seen in my life. Like, I think she was a damn skin crawler or whatever the fuck they call that shit on TikTok. She come in the crib, you know, she smell it, and she like, why the fuck does it smell like weed? Now, listen, they wanna act like they don't do it, bro. I done smelled it before when I came in the crib, bro. I know y'all blow down too, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be trying to make me feel bad for doing it, but y'all do the same shit. Like, I don't like the air out of my people, but damn, how the fuck you gonna get mad at me for the same shit you do? Like... Come on, bro, you kind of being a hypocrite. After she smelled the shit, um, bro, everything happened so fast, I didn't even realize what happened. She smelt it and immediately realized what happened, bro. Like, she looked at me and darted to my room. Let me tell y'all, let me give y'all a damn tour of, of how the fuck this shit happened, bro. My mama was standing right here. This is the opening to the door. You know what I'm saying? I'm standing right behind the bar, you know what I'm saying? Because I could see them. You know what I'm saying? Now, let me tell y'all how close... I am to my room. Y'all see my room now, right? Bro, she darted. I'm not gonna lie, bro. She my bad YouTube, my camera died. But like I was saying, um, yeah, she came to my room, you know what I'm saying? And she smelled it even more. Now, like I said, this is a source. This is a garage. The shit was just fucking floating around at this point, bro. She come in here, smell this shit, and goes the fuck off. And at 15, bro, I didn't have that mindset of like, I don't know what the fuck I was doing. Cause like, like I said, bro, like this is my first time doing it. And I'm like, bro, I'm just going off of what I'm seeing in the music videos and shit. These niggas smoking in the Airbnbs. I'm smoking in my house. The f I'm over here blowing down like I'm chief. The first thing she asked me was, she was like, before I come in here and look, what you got in here? Cause I know what it smell like. Now at this age, I understand, bro. Like, bro, she already knew what was going on as soon as she walked in the house. I kept lying though. Like, for my my dumb ass kept fucking lying. I'm like, mom, I don't got nothing. I kept saying it. I don't got nothing. I don't got nothing. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god! Stop fucking lying. She left the room for a long time. They both did. So I start going to sleep, right? I start going to sleep. I'm thinking everything cool, right? 11.30 hit. You know what I'm saying? Because this was all a little bit like early. 11.30 hit. They came in here. <laughs> Felt to ass, bro. My mama was the main one hitting my ass. I think my dad was just giving the fuck punches. They came in jumping my ass, bro. They came in, jumped my ass, beat my ass. I can't move. My fucking legs feel like they broke in, in, the, in the other direction, but they still forward. You know what I'm saying? I ain't breaking nothing. Thank God. But, bro, she beat my ass and asked me the same question. And this time, bro, I'm not gonna lie. I ain't wanna get my ass beat the next time. So I gave the shit to her. After she got what she wanted, you know what I'm saying? She kept going, though. You know what I'm saying? Now, mind you, this is my desk right here, right? I had put the ashes. My dumb ass put the ashes on the corner of the desk. I don't know how the fuck she did this inspector shit. But she looked at the desk and saw the ashes across the table and was like, where is this from? Bro. At this point, bro, at this point, bro, like, I'm like, bro, I give up, bro, I'm sorry. They took my game. They took the TV off the wall, bro. They took my phone. I ain't see that for, like, a good three months, bro. That shit was crazy, bro. They took everything from me. Bro, they took my controller. They took the bedding off of the mattress and just had me sleeping on the mattress. This shit was crazy, and I'm not gonna lie. I had got a new bed at that time, bro. They yanked that bitch right back out. I'm talking about, like, the dedication that they had towards this shit was absolutely crazy like there was no reason they went this far just to make sure i wasn't happy but yeah y'all after that nothing really came with it but um we went to washington like a week after and my mama was spraying my fucking business like she was shade room bro i promise you she she told my auntie she told my uncle she told my fucking little cousins what i did like 
I'm sitting there embarrassed. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Don't do that shit in your house, bro. Like, this shit is just stupid. Because they gonna smell the shit, bro. If you a young boy and you already, you know what I'm saying? Bro, do that shit outside, bro. Like, I'm not gonna lie, bro. It's way better you're not gonna get in trouble. You can air yourself out before you go in the house. And nobody will ever know. But my ass, bro, I did it, though. So I had to pay the price. This is gonna be the end of the video. I really hope y'all enjoyed this story time. Um, y'all make sure y'all drop a like. Y'all comment and subscribe. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. We on the road to 200. We actually getting really close. And uh, drink water. Stay healthy. Yeah, I'm going to catch y'all boys next time.